In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new sequence. First, I'm going to show you how to create a new sequence from scratch. Then I'm going to show you how to create a new sequence using existing video footage. If you're not sure what sequence means, all it's referring to is the timeline that you're going to use to assemble and place all of your footage. The first way to create a new sequence from scratch, mean that you're going to determine what the settings are, is to come up here to the top menu, go to File, New, and select Sequence. You can also use the keyboard shortcut command N on a Mac, Control N on PC, and that'll bring up the new sequence dialog box. The first tab is Sequence Presets. There's a whole bunch of cameras here, so if you know what camera you're using, there might be a preset made for you. If it's totally confusing and overwhelming, I would recommend starting with Digital SLR. You can see here, 1080. You can just pick the frame rate you want. You can just click OK. And now you have a new sequence or a timeline that you can start assembling and editing your footage. And if you ever want to check or make any changes to your sequence settings, all you have to do is come up to the top menu, go to Sequence, Sequence Settings. You can modify any of the sequence settings. You can also click on the drop-down if you want to select a new camera preset. Click Cancel if you didn't make any changes or click OK to commit the changes, and that will update your sequence on the timeline. The second way to create a new sequence from scratch is down in the Project panel. Look to the far right. You'll see this little icon with a folded edge. That's the new item icon. If you just click on that, at the very top, you will see Sequence. Just click that. That's going to open up the same new sequence dialog box. You can select a preset, or you can manually enter in the settings. You can give your sequence a name down here. Click OK, and that will create a new sequence from scratch. And to create a new sequence with the exact same settings and properties as your existing footage, so if you want your sequence to have the same frame rate, the same dimensions, all you have to do is select your existing footage. You can just simply drag it right onto an empty timeline. And if you look in the project panel, you see a new sequence was created with the exact same settings. You can also check in the top sequence sequence settings to check all the settings and make any changes as necessary. You can also create a new sequence from existing footage by selecting a clip in the project panel, right click or control click and go to new sequence from clip, or you can simply click on the footage and drag it onto the new item icon, let go and that will automatically create a new sequence with the exact same settings and properties as your footage. And that is how to create new sequences in Premiere Pro.